Thanks for joining us today at the Embedded Vision Summit 2021. My name is Roger Silway. I'm Director of Sales and Business Development for the Americas at FNX. Welcome to our video on FNX Quantum Acceleration and Introduction to our Titanium Family. For further questions, if you want to know more about FNX, please join us at our booth. Now let's just jump into the content. Titanium is a new family of devices based on 16 nanometer node. This family really defines a new type of FPGA for the industry. Our revolutionary second generation quantum fabric enables exceptional performance, low power, and the smallest footprints, all while being able to scale from 35,000 logic elements to 1 million logic elements. Our unique fine grade architecture, the XLR, exchangeable logic and routing cell, can simultaneously create logic and routing, giving great flexibility to meet high FMAX with high utilization, low power, and the smallest packages in the industry. This is not your father's FPGA. This quantum architecture is a completely different approach than it was taken by all the other FPGA vendors with their independent route and logic functions stamped throughout the device. Additional features for unique DSP capability, hardened core functions, high-speed I.O. capability make Titanium the optimum device for edge acceleration and inferencing applications. Now that we briefly covered a bit about FNX and how our approach and our devices are different from the traditional FPGA vendors, let's take a look at the demo of an FNX device. This video shows a neural network model called Tiny Darknet running on our Tryon T120 eval board. Tiny Darknet is a standard model that's been trained to identify images from a thousand different classes. It is providing the four most likely results from those thousand classes, which were showing the text overlay of the video being analyzed. Also being shown in the text overlay is the performance of the model running at the top left. There are a number of neural network models out there. This is just one that is a common, commonly investigated for edge applications. We're using it here to highlight the ability of FNX devices to be a platform of choice for your edge needs. Now that you've seen the tiny darknet model running, how did we get there? Well, the first part involves our open source framework for processors acceleration, including the definition of the ins and outs to the virtual accelerator socket inside the RFPGA, quantum acceleration. We'll be providing building block options to personalize the architecture to address your needs to help you get your design done more effectively and quickly. The Computera CNN demo is built using our Edge Vision System on a Chip framework, which is our first example of quantum acceleration, where we are integrating the processing element into the FPGA with our Soft Risk V SOC. Let's take a look at that design and see how it takes advantage of some of our hardened function blocks like our MIPI CSI and our DDR3 memory controller that we have built into the devices. The RTL design goes into our Tryon T120 FPGA. That's everything you see in the blue box. We have made the RTL open and extensible. The whole system is put together for you and all you need to do is drop your own code into the framework. As you can see from the code, the RISC-V SOC is all hooked up and ready to go. The design uses a Raspberry Pi camera and an HDMI display, and here you can see the code that communicates with them. Additionally, it has a DMA controller to manage the communications too. This part of the code, the hardware accelerator, is where you would swap in for your own acceleration function. As you can see, it uses the AXI and the 32-bit address and data widths, but you can change that as you need. Everything is packaged up and easy to use. It's open source and available on GitHub and our own website, so copy away. The Computera demo combines hardware design, that's the part that goes into the FPGA, our Edge Vision System on a Chip framework with the customization, and software design, that's the part that runs in the RISC-V processor. The Computera hardware acceleration block is written in Verilog. Computera used our Affinity software to compile the RTL for our Tryon FPGA. Affinity is an easy to use FPGA tool and the Computera team was able to easily port the existing code to our Tryon FPGA very quickly. Computera team appreciated the time enclosure capability of Affinity. Finally, Computera uses their quantizer compiler to convert the TensorFlow outputs to something that they can run on the RISC-V and their own accelerator. They currently support a number of AI models and can extend their approach to support more in the future. Now let's take a look at how Computera was able to take the basic Edge Vision System on a Chip framework and modify it to build their CNN accelerator engine we showed earlier. They targeted this, this, this design for our Tryon T120 BGA324 development board. Computera is an expert in FPGA and neural networking solutions. Their Convolution Neural Network Accelerator, designed specifically for FPGAs, is intended for use for edge applications. 
This di diagram shows the blocks that they swapped out. They inserted their own hardware acceleration block into the vision system on a chip and used DDR DRAM on the development board to hold the raw images, coefficients, and other assorted data. You can see here the whole system is set up. We have the T120 board, a camera, a monitor to display the results, and another monitor to show the images that are going to be analyzed. The RTL design we showed in the previous slide is programmed into the FPGA. The Raspberry Pi camera captures the image on the display monitor. The Computera CNN accelerator then analyzes the images, classifies them, and then displays the result on the connected HDMI display. As they went through the development process, Computera analyzed actual system interaction to maximize frames per second performance. They had to decide which function was best accelerated in hardware and which would leave in software. The Edge Vision System on a Chip framework gave them the flexibility for those decisions instead of building everything from scratch. Being able to meet those goals in a cost, package size, and power optimized solution was a very impressive item to Computera team, as those are important features to any Edge applications. Now that you understand how all this came together, let's take one more look at the demo. The frame rate for the tiny darknet model is quite good at over 30 frames per second for the FNX Tryon device. This is slightly higher performance than that reach with a Zinc Ultra Scale board. One of the keys, though, is our uh, power differentiation. For other FPGAs, you won't be able to see this level of performance combined with such a low power solution. FNX devices are at least a third to half of the power of competing devices and will be even lower with, hi with titanium. If you have a specific model you would like to implement or just an edge challenge that you're trying to solve with a neural network solution, FNX and Computera can help deliver solutions for effective high performance edge processing at the lowest power, smallest package size, and price for volume production. Edge and near data com computing is exploding. Methods as we have shown here today with the Computera demo and an FNX FPGA will be a major f uh, solution to these uh, edge challenges. What is needed is a revolutionary solution to drive performance, low power, small packaging with cost optimization, and FNX is uniquely enabled to pro provide that to the marketplace. Thanks again for attending today's meeting. Please come by our booth and we can talk more. More information on the FNX is on our website also. Now I think we're ready for some questions for FNX.